And welcome back everybody into another review session. As you can see from the screen, I was doing some back testing today and yesterday, mainly on GJ and EURUSD, uh, both on the one minute and also on GJ on the high time frame on the hourly and 15 minutes. So uh, what you're seeing on screen is about, uh, of course, EURUSD and we're going to uh, go deeper into the these setups that I highlighted and yeah, just to analyze them uh, and review to understand and in increase the confidence in my setup. So let's have a look from, uh, this is from yesterday, the 1st of January, this is on GJ. As, as you can see, I have been uh, back testing them and uh, trying to understand the difference in the currency movement rather than on gold. On gold, I'm more used to that and um, I'm trying to get a grasp about the GJ look, the GJ movement and the currency in general. So as we can see over here on the left hand side, we start, uh, this is during London session because GJ I have tested during London session while your USD is both on uh, doing London and New York session. So what we can see over here uh, is the double bottom of the price and a very nice bullish breakout of the PPL. So this orange line, sort of rectangle, is in a high time frame zone. So um, it's based on the hourly chart. As you can see over here, we have a nice bullish uh, movement. It does not make a new higher convinc convincingly higher high above the hourly. But since we are scalping, I'm not, I don't want uh, to simply base myself on this uh, PSA. If I can understand and have a, uh, a sort of anticipation about the move, possible movement, likely, likelihood of the movement from the lower time frame, that's what I would take. In this case, it's not just about the double bottom and some bullish price section that led me to buy, uh, to take part of this movement, it's actually about the, breaker, the double bottom at the breakery test of a PPL. A PPL is a psychological price level. I don't know what is this one. Usually it's about 0 0.0, 0 0.200, 0 0.500, 0 0.800, and, and so on and so on. So uh, these are the PPLs that I use on GJ based from the CH concept. Okay. So we see that uh, price usually gets uh, gives us some relevant reactions at this PPL. So in this case, uh, what I'm looking at is actually the retest of this PPL. So this is the entry after evident validation that this double bottom. I'm not entering straight away at the double bottom. We, uh, I'm entering after seeing this bullish correction that is engulfing all the previous one. And of course, we are doing a high volume time. We are, I think, in pre-London time. And we see a quick retest. Uh, it's a little bit late entry because my best entry would be uh, around here, especially at this bearish candle close. It was a little bit late, but with a five pip stop loss, the stop loss is still below these lows below the PPL, which is my PSA of interest in this trade. We can see that the price will make a double bottom at this level, fail to break. You can see also see that the price is basically making a double bottom and then retesting it before the continuation up. So this can be anywhere, but as you can see also, if there wasn't, it was not a, a PPL, it's simply based on the technical, we could, I could have taken this trade. And as you can see that the price will go one, two, three, this is 15 pips uh, TP. After that, uh, as a sort of continuation, uh, I took this breakery test. This is a classical breakery test. Price is breaking above this last, um, the last highs, but also now I have the validation that the price is breaking above the hourly PSA. So I'm expecting price after a break, a retest, a quick retest, I'm expecting price to continue bullish. And it does, because after my entry, I enter at this candle kind of close, with a little bit of spread, the entry is over there. Price would go around 10 pips in profits, that's where 
at 2 to 1 that's where i have the uh, stop loss to break even rule uh, so after price is moving at 10 pips it immediately fails to continue bullish and just uh, go drops back down this of course a 2 to 1 will still be good for scalps but since my setup is uh, quite good as a 3 to 1 also 4 to 1 risk to reward it's okay to get a break even trade after that when i see these fake out what i'm uh, actually attempting i know it's quite uh, rushed uh, is but it's something that some sometimes it works and it is after seeing this and identifying this as a fake out i'm playing the get back into the range after the fake out so it's i see the the price is breaking below and is retesting the entry the best entry should be at this bullish bullish candle so let's see if i can zoom in the best entry should be at this bullish candle because the, the bearish one is engulfing the previous one and then i have the perfect retest and as you can see my entry over here i will still go probably this is probably 10 pips at least and would not be stopped out this is stopped out from the spread this is like a two pip spread that i'm using during the, the simulation it's not really too it's not very realistic i would say but it works so probably even here the entry was about about this uh the spread and probably this one would have been would have still been either a break even or something more trade uh because at least it's 10 pips so i would probably be uh, would have been stopped out uh at break even about above there okay so so this is anyway in this simulation this is a loss and it's okay after that what i see is that my still my tra trade idea it's correct because um now i have this psa that i want to see broken and not taking any break and retest of this level because especially we broke below the ppl so it's not really uh it's not really confirming that the ppl is holding so the price might continue up so at this moment in time we are sort of ranging price does not have a huge a huge direction a huge bias so i'm not taking any buy and i start to understand that possibly we are going into a corrective phase with this trend line especially I, I mean at this trend line is printed after this high lower high has been printed is not i did not expect that also after seeing this one so uh what i'm seeing is the price made these lows and then we have got a huge correction i'm not a buy at support guy so i'm not really looking at this psa for buys i'm really looking at the lower time frame so what i understand this correction i understand that this level is giving me a reaction these candles are giving me good reaction so that's when i actually start to have this uh, yellow line so when i see that the price is now aggressively so we are making new lower lows and now we can already have a, a trend line from these eyes connecting this one and this one so um when i see the price aggressively breaking below these lows that's when with this aggressive retest i uh, manage to get my entry and for the cells so i want to take the continuation cells over here uh unluckily the price this is my stop loss getting triggered by the uh, spread probably like a seven eight ten pips uh, stop loss would be safe still safe but yeah uh, price fails to break below the ppl above the ppl sorry and it continues down if now i want to only focus on the ppls like i did over here uh, i might want to wait for the retest of the ppl so either take any entry at the ppl if i want to use it as a reference or wait for the retest not just in the middle of the range especially with this choppy price action but wait for the ppl anyway yeah, i take this five pips loss and it's okay but then what i see is i see a double top triple basically triple top add this trend line because now it's officially uh, a trend line on the bearish side you can see it is connecting now four lower highs and that's when 
after when I see the rejection, that's where I take my entry. Next entry. Double, triple top. Well, at this bearish candle close, that's when I take my entry. And as you can see that the price is now ready to go. This one would have been the safest entry, I would say, because now you have the order block created over here. And we have the break and retest of this PSA for the possible continuation down. So I anticipated it and uh, with anticipation because due to the rejection of the BPL and the bearish trend line. So these two in conjunction with the, of course, the overall bias, that's is making for me the best entry. Also for, as per risk to reward, as you can see, this is 15 pips. Price would go at least, I think it's at least 20 or 30 more from there. After that, uh, another very good entry would have been over here, break and retest not of the PPL. As you can see now, if I waited for the PPL, this entry would have been missed, but break retest of this hourly PSA, this one would have gone at least 10, 15 pips in profit, uh, 100%. But this is a scalp that I missed. What I see is that this strong PPL, I don't know if on the hourly, is a, even a, how is a strong PSA, uh, we are starting to see a shift in market structure. And we can see it already, because if you look at the difference from here, the size and the frequency of the bearish candles, and you start to then look even just here, you don't see that there are sellers in control anymore, because every time that the sellers try to push, the, the bulls are bouncing back up. And also if you really, if we want just to be clear this is very very a bearish movement this is more of a neutral point but here you can see that in this area there are many more bullish candles engulfing the bearish ones than the opposite side so as you can see over here we are seeing a shift in market structure uh, due to the uh, shift in the order flow now we have this area that is conveniently uh, basically the same as the hourly PSA gets broken on the upside. And again, when I see it, uh, what I see is that price is now bullish, breaking above and retesting basically the retesting the PPL and the trend line. My entry is not at the first top, is when I see this price action and I see this retap of the trend line so the price is staying above the trend line i don't see any bearish candle closing below the other block close if i saw any bearish candle close i would probably enter either the ppl or at the retest of this previous eyes i took this entry and as you can see it went 15 pips into profits back to the uh to the other ppl okay so as you can see now i just saw this the ppl 0.800 is the one down here this one was a big demand area on the hourly time frame. So you can understand you either, if you're like uh, trading with its limits, you probably have a limit over here, expecting a buy from there. As a scalper, you take your entry. You can either be very aggressive if you're already expe expecting um, this bounce and you are just manually entering. You can enter when you see that you have this first push then you are seeing some sort of support being created at this level. So you can take any high risk I would buy entry over there. The stop loss in this case as a scalper will still be uh, around 10 pips below these lows uh, compared to a very small uh, a very small stop loss that you can use to scalp these small sizes of movement. So this was basically the first the first day and we're going to move on into the following one following one as you can see already uh, it's more of a um, messy day this is not really something that you should and you want to trade in um, this is more based on the high time frame on the high time frame you can see that i was already looking at already this continuation of a trend line that was uh based on the high time frame, but also yeah, multiple tops of the lower time frame. And so I was expecting the possible top of the PPL over here uh, and the trend line. 
So as you can see here, the start of the session, uh, the, the late Asian at the start of the London session is very, very quiet. I took a bounce. This is quite a sort of very, very poor entry. It's just about, okay, price is bouncing again from this level. Let me enter, but it's more of a gamble back to the, to the top of the range rather than a trending market. So this trade is actually a very a bad trade and I got the stop loss. And um, as you can see, I read the stop stopped out even before there was any confirmation that my trade idea was invalid. And this is because a five pips stop loss in this case with a late entry like this, it's very, very poor. Um, I took then a nicer break and retest because you can see that the, now we are in, doing volume time. We are failing to break above. We are breaking below the PPL. We are breaking now below these lows the last lows and this uh, PSA. So at the break and retest, this entry is great. I It doesn't go to 10 pips, but since I know that this is my buy area and I'm just scalping it to the downside, uh, I place it at break even after seeing this strong reaction from the PPL and trend line, because I know that this is not a random PPL. It's, a, it's an area where I'm expecting price to bounce more aggressively so that's you can also see over here so that's why when i see this break and retest of the area because it, now this is a fake out back into the range so now this is officially the fake out in order to grab liquidity to the demand area to buy, push price up so that's when i enter the break and retest back into the range break and retest and you can see that price goes very very fast to uh, to the TP here is basically tapping it. The stop loss, of course, is already at break even. Bounces from the PPL and then goes to 15 pips. Uh, then another attempt is uh, after seeing the bounce from these lows of the range, another attempt for the continuation buys goes into a loss because, of course, the, the entry is very far away from the PPL, but there's not enough juice to continue up. Uh, so when I see now further break below i do not take a, a sell also because it's a it's a very messy price action and if i enter of course the derivatives of these lows that would be still be a playable range but no entry below these lows because i was now expecting another bounce from these lows now it's matching the trend line the trend line and the ppl so that's where i take an aggressive uh this is more of high time frame entry. As you can see, this is a 10 pip stop loss, probably below there, and a 30 pip TP. And you can see that with this liquidity price will continue. And I don't know if after that it will break above, but for sure it's a range to range uh, play, which is very, very good. Okay, so now moving on. This is a clean breakout and retest. Now, I'm not, as you, what I wanted to highlight with this entry is about, not about the, um, the break and retest because normally I will wait for the retest of these lows. But after seeing uh, these, this higher low being printed over here, I can remove this arrow because I already took the screenshot with that. After removing, after seeing these area being retested now i took the entry when i saw this bearish candle left a huge week on downside and the next one basically closed at the level so my entry was when i saw this bullish candle bull um flipping bullish so not not seeing continuation bearish i took an entry using this as a support instead of waiting for this level price would go around 10 pips I would guess, yes. And then stop loss at break even, price will continue down. You can also see already from this area that there is not enough volume for the price to continue. So this is just getting being safe, not risking the full stop loss, probably even placing it over there if you don't want to have it at break even. And just let's see what the price we're going to do. Now, same thing, the after seeing this fake out, 
as you can see that is happening i i had a very good entry point at this here because it's already these are the last highs and it's a psa that i have chatted up and this should have been the best entry um, because you can see the price is staying for one two three four five six basically seven minutes below this and this are below this P psa and this one would have been a very nice play range to range I took the, below the PPL when I saw this candle grab liquidity and closing as it is with a very small body and a huge wick and uh, it goes 10 pips, fails to break below because it's at this uh, double bottom, it's reacting over there and that's where I uh, place it at break even and the price will retrace and just uh, take me out at break even. So, so far it's two break even trades uh, from this session, then I take a loss. Because when I'm seeing uh, this bullish price, it's not very bullish, it's just seeing these bounces and staying above this hourly PSA. When the price is staying above the PPL and seeing possibility of a break above. But what you can see is that the price is actually reacting at these lows. You can see that this is the order block that we faced before and the price is reacting and failing to break above that. It's actually making a double top, which will give us a very, if it just zoomed out, it's giving us um, a very good entry point for sales. Anyway, I take my sales with the proper confirmation after seeing this price action when the price is breaking and closing below these lows. And um, even zooming in, you can see I take it when this bearish candle is showing me that there is not enough volume for price to continue bullish and it will go to TP pretty pretty fast. Then next, uh, this was the expected uh, PSA, the expected uh, price action after seeing the, a strong rejection from these eyes and as you can see uh, this is doing New York, that's uh, actually what happened. So the price was just going closing below these lows. I don't want to take an entry immediately straight away. As you can see, price will probably uh, flip bullish even. As you can see, this is the same candle flipping bullish. And I take the entry when I see this candle is tapping the uh, PPL and then closing with a huge wick. I don't really like the, the entry is far away from the PPL, but still I think that five pips is still safe. and. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think I use um, a 10 pip stop loss, but you can see after seeing this strong rejection at the eyes and the new lows being created, that's when I take the retest of the PPL for the continuation down. And you can see it is also after a little bit of retest again, price will go to my TP bounce again. And this could have been another entry because the same PPL is still valid. This PSA is still not uh, breached and the price will continue down. After that, uh, I don't really like it because it's not the cleanest price action on the left hand side, as you can see. Price is breaking below these lows, but it's actually mm, failing to break. So, so far, there is still no evidence that price is clearly breaking below. An entry in this case should have been at these eyes. At the retest of these eyes, which is something that the currency pairs are usually doing a lot, and the retest of these lows is not really worth it. And as well, after seeing this bounce, this uh, candle, my stop loss, okay, is not maybe it's not at break even, but should be right above the candle bodies. I don't need to risk a full five pips stop loss if I can risk like three pips, and I'm standing up on a lot of. A lot of trades because basically if it goes to three pips it will go to five anyway so that's uh, that's the main point uh, so after that as you can see i miss these entries these are very good entries because they are retesting the same psa which is uh i mean as a, on the bearish side the entry should be at the pullback at, uh, at the last height not below the last lows anyway when i see then the price is finally convincingly breaking below these last lows, these order block lows. You can see now this is a very clean support and now here is 
clearly getting being broken. So it's very different this PSA from th uh, this one. This one was not clearly broken, huge wicks, lot of price action, lot of orders, but not a clearly not being clearly broken. And so as you can see, this break and retest will actually work out pretty well uh, for like 10 pips, then it will jump back at break even. This is another thing, another rule. If I simply add the stop loss over here, reduced instead of taking a break even, uh, I will, this entry will still be okay. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I took the last, probably second to last retest of this level uh, after seeing that the price action is not breaking above uh, these eyes anyway. So that was my second attempt at the same trade idea. And let's continue. So now this is the same setup. So we have the break and retest of these last lows, break clear uh, price action being broken, the retest and goes to 15 pips. And then same thing, top of a PPL and the demand area, huge bullish price action, break and retest of the eyes, and then a continuation up. Break and retest of these eyes, as you can see, the best retest would have been over there with the candle. We go to 10, 10 pips and then probably some news and the price is spiking down. Continue down. You can see this is coming from this impulsive move. Um, I take the break and retest of the PPL, candle closing at the PPL, that's where I take my entry. And then for the continuation, as you can see, as I told you, price is respecting a lot this PSA and also the, week, the top weeks, as you can see, are very respected on the dot. So I took this entry and profits. This uh, Here I could have taken another entry here as well. Instead of taking, for example, a break and retest of these lows for possible continuation down, expecting the entry to be at the pullback. So end of pullback of the previous lower high. This is actually a mistake. This is lower high. It's not the low. The low will be below there. Sorry, below this level. Uh, well, yeah, that was a nice entry. End of pullback, the same. This was re some retail sales. And then the same thing, I did it the, the, another day. That was about here, taking uh, retest of the same highs, taking and betting on it. And uh, yeah, this is basically a continuation. Something, uh, yeah. End of pullback, as I told you, the currency pairs like to retest the same highs as a pullback. As you can see now, we are in a bearish trend line and the price action is, instead of taking, for example, this entry, expecting it to drop below, or taking this entry, expect to retest the same highs before the continuation. As you can see, even over here, it's retesting these same highs. It's not retesting just this area. It's retesting these same highs before the continuation down, even here. Is it testing this higher PSA? It's not just that's why the, here I took this loss because I took a very fast. I, I thought that it would go very fast. This is a minor loss because I adjusted the stop loss, but anyway, um, that 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 was the, the trade idea. Uh, and this is I don't know if it's on EU already on Euro USD. Yes, because we have uh, Euro USD, USD strength, and this is doing New York. So we had. I use a spike down due to some report of the USD and I take the break and retest down below. You can see we have multiple retests of the same highs. This area is getting retested. Then I take this PSA. As you can see now, uh, we go to 10 pips. Now I'm using like a 15 pips TP. We go to 10 pips and then retest to break even. Another thing, if I had it like here, instead of having at break even, this would still be okay, but it's fine. Then after seeing another pullback, since it's a currency behavior, I take another entry uh, right after getting stopped out at break even. And that's where I'm betting on the continuation down after seeing this. This is the impulsive move, as you can see. And look how slow and known there's no volume in this bullish price action. Look at compare it to the bearish impulsive one. As you can see that now this is definitely a pullback because it's slower, smaller candles, it's not just uh, like a bounce from the uh, from a, a, a 
RPPL, like here. This is, for example, you can see that now this is the impulsive move, but this is not really looking as a pullback because it's too sharp, too strong, too volume. So that's uh, that has to be some um, some red flags in your head. So here, make a test of the hourly highs and goes into profit. Try to take the pullback at these highs. It's a loss. High risk, high reward. Sort of, yeah. Not I will not say stupid because it's. Most of the times after seeing this price action price will continue up. Uh, it's a, another loss. Anyway, yeah, in this case, the stop loss should have been over there. I was not just, uh, I was not adapting it. I was just going fast forward. So take this after seeing this rejection, the same highs, there's no need to have it at uh, like three, four pips. You just need to have it down below. And I will save that. I will save up a lot of uh, Pips and money. Same thing after this entry. When I see this price action, the stop loss should be above here and uh, still okay for price to continue down. And yeah, now this is more of a uh, more of a exercise to understand. So now, what do I want to take when the price is breaking above? Do I want to consider this area for entry, or should I wait? For this last higher low, not saying the last higher high, not last high, not the last high. I'm saying last higher low for a possible continuation up, and um, yeah, probably would have been the best because you can see price would bounce at this level and this area multiple times, but it's even okay because of the, the stop loss was wide enough. We go to take profit, and then uh, I was starting to and to see. A trend line and that's where i take this buy price would still respect it i'm in this trade so the stop loss is below here and it's very nice to see how the trend line gets respected price is still making new high high and with the due volume it will go to tp um i think yeah after that, this is the last one and yeah so basically you can see now this is on eurusd it's a plus 100 percent of course it's not really uh, replicable in uh, the um, doing live trade, but uh, just to have uh, some hin hindsight and uh, build some confidence, you can see using the hourly PSAs for bounce, for rejections, uh, for here, you see this buy, then take the rejection and go down, go down, the buys above this hourly PSA and continue up. Of course, as a limit trader, if you're just uh, if you're playing with the pending orders only on the hourly, there was in this case during May was plenty of opportunities because the price action was absolutely uh, clear. You can see over here this you have this PSA, you have the break below over here. You have a pl you, you place a sell limit at this level, and you can see that it gets triggered and then we continue down. Same thing when you see the break below here, you place a sell limit at this area, gets triggered and continues down. You just keep playing with the trend and the same thing after that, you have this PSA price is breaking below. I mean, you have even this intermediate one that if you just remove, you can see this possible entry, but you can see that you have this area of interest gets broken. You have, you'll have a sell limit anywhere at this level and it will continue down now i don't know if the same thing will happen over here i mean we can see it and not save the the simulation if we place a sell limit i don't know if now there is a uh, the price will continue due to some fundamentals but let's just see if it, we place a pending order over there of course you would love to a stop loss here this is the entry wider stop loss this is still a basically a two, three to one risk to reward and let's see if it will continue uh, in the same direction okay so far that is not looking good yeah it's creating another block over there but let's see yeah it will go back to the lows of the range 
you simply device will um, will need at least 20 pips I don't know how many pips I had as a stop loss let's see okay yeah so stop loss should be at least 20 pips TP let's say 60 for a 3 to 1 risk to reward let's see if like this it will work better okay now here for example i will place it at break even or the stop loss below these lows yeah as you can see here you will still have we simply placing the limit and with a reasonable stop loss you will have a three to one even on the high time frame um thing so yeah, of course now, yeah, the, the risk was a lot, was too much based on the, because it was based on five, four pips instead I used it for 20. So a loss would have been much, much worse. Yeah, would have been 2000, would be basically a 10% loss. Anyway, I'm not going to save this. I just wanted to show you how in a structured market, even the sell orders uh, work with the limit order, work really, really good. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you next time.